Hello and welcome to Board Game Gumbo. Today we're going to be unboxing Aristocracy by Tasty Minstrel Games. This is a game for two to four players. Plays in about 45 minutes. And relies on set collection and also area influence. So here we have the rule book. Fairly straightforward. In short, these are just player guides. It's the same for each player. Each player will just get a player guide to remind them of the different steps of the game. You have punch board, the different pieces. Tasty Minstrel always does really high quality components, so it's no surprise that there's pretty thick punch board and everything punches out really well. And it looks like they actually give you some replacement pieces, just in case you ever lose some. You've got a whole bunch of little squares. Again, punch out fairly easily. And they're quite thick, so... More punch board for the different areas. And then you have the main board itself. And player pieces. So let's take a look here. Okay. There's the board. So each player will have one color and they'll take all the buildings of that color and have them available to them. And essentially the way the, the game works is that all of these little square spaces will have one of these pieces on it face down so you won't know what's there. And on your turn, you're gonna flip over any three pieces that you want, so such as that, and then you're gonna take an action based off of what pieces are shown face up, both the three you just flipped and any that have been flipped before your turn. So ultimately you're trying to score the most points. You can do that in a couple different ways. First is set collection. So you're trying to collect sets of the three resources. So there's sheep and wood and uh, corn. So each set of those that you have at the end of the game is gonna be worth a point. There's also fish down here uh, that you can get uh, at several different locations. And those are basically wild cards for resources at the end of the game. Then you have locations like this. So if you flipped over these three tiles, so there's two of these tiles here, same type, and then you chose to take this action, you'd put two of your buildings down, one for each tile of that type that are showing. And there are three types of location tiles, just like there are three types of resource tiles. The other way you can score is through area control. So when you have a certain number of pieces in a particular color of your player buildings in a particular color, you'll score uh, tiles, which you'll keep until the end of the game. You can also connect cities. So this is the yellow city to the blue city. If you connect them by having your city pieces go between the two city centers, you'll score points that way. And you can also score points by having um, a majority in areas at the end of the game in certain other ways. Uh, this track over here and on the left here are for the uh, king and queen tiles, which you can see up here on the right, the king and the queen tiles. And that's basically how the game ends. But pulling those off the board also allows you to put down buildings. So it's something you wanna do even though it's gonna lead to the end of the game. Once you get to the end of the game, you're just gonna count up points from any tiles you've acquired, uh, as well as uh, set collection on your resources, and whoever has the most points is gonna win. And that's it. So we hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, we'd be uh, happy to hear from you.